I say giving birth is not a gender neutral event, right? You're the one who's pregnant. You're the one who gives birth. You're the one who's breastfeeding. You're the one who then needs to take maternity leave because it makes sense if you're the one who's breastfeeding. So then even in a once equal household, we start to see those paths yeah. diverge. But, but they don't diverge in same sex couples. So it's not just about men, right? Because even in yeah. same sex couples with two men, they actually are able to negotiate this very clearly in a way that we're not able to in hetero relationships. Why? So yeah, I, I think it is heterosexual gender roles because that's what I see in the data is that, you know, in a same-sex relationship, when one partner's earning power goes up, his share of the home production goes down. Like they follow this specialization and we see men able to do those chores. I also see in the data, by the way, divorced men able to do those chores. <laughs> so when men get divorced, their time cooking and cleaning goes up. But it's when they're in a heterosexual marriage, there's this kind of backing off. Men tend to take up tasks that are these kind of visible, bulky tasks like shoveling the sidewalk, mowing the lawn, cleaning out the gutters, taking out the trash. And notice those are weekly or monthly tasks. So they feel like they are really sharing the household labor, but her tasks are hourly. It just adds up so much more. And so men, whenever I present the data, they're like, oh, but I do the trash every single week. And I'm like, yep. And that's a tiny fraction of overall household time because people need to eat like three meals a day, right? 